Hi, in this video I am going to prepare potassium and cesium sulfate by two different methods. These salts will be used for an upcoming project involving some tellurium chemistry. Making potassium sulfate is really really easy. I started off with this very hygroscopic potassium hydroxide, which I have neglected for so long that it started picking up excessive amounts of water from the air. This is not so bad though, because for this prep I'm actually not even going to measure out any precise amounts of anything. I just add a couple of spoonfuls of potassium hydroxide. I add some potassium sulfate solution from a previous run of this reaction to dissolve the material, and strangely enough this forms this white suspension. I'm not really quite sure why that happened, but I shall proceed forward anyway. Next step is to add sulfuric acid to this until the pH of the solution becomes neutral. Whilst adding you can see a lot of bubbles evolving, and this is spontaneous boiling due to the reaction being very exothermic. I tested the pH of the solution and it turned out that I hit the neutralization point pretty well by chance. Now I start heating up the solution until it boils and add more and more water until all the milkiness disappears. It took about 5 minutes but all the solid dissolved in the end and after that I left it boiling until I saw a crust of solid forming on the surface of the solution. At this point I removed it from the hot plate and let it cool down. Over the period of about 4 hours I got very nice crystals growing at the bottom of the beaker. The next day I pour all the residual liquid through a filter into a clean beaker. This residual solution can be left to stand and evaporate slowly to get even more and nicer crystals of potassium sulfate, but I was more interested in the finer crystals for my purpose. I scraped out all of the formed crystals onto this petri dish and let the rest of the water evaporate. In the end the yield is 20 grams of nice potassium sulfate. For the preparation of cesium sulfate I chose a different route since I didn't have any cesium carbonate or hydroxide on hand. Instead I just used cesium chloride and sulfuric acid. The cesium chloride reacts similarly to the hydroxide or carbonate, though instead of producing water and or carbon dioxide it produces hydrogen chloride gas instead. For the prep of cesium sulfate I use 2 grams of cesium chloride starting material that I weighed out into the speaker. To convert all of the cesium chloride into sulfate I only needed about 1 gram of sulfuric acid which I weighed out into the small vial. I transferred everything outside, add a stir bar to the cesium chloride and then add all the sulfuric acid. Now I heat up the reaction mix and evaporate every bit of liquid. Now that all the liquid is evaporated I loosen up the powder and go on to the purification steps. To clean up the material I add a small amount of water and bring the solution to a boil. I filter it into a petri dish and boil it to dryness. 
Looking back, using this flat dish was really stupid because I lost a bunch of material, but the amount I obtained is enough for me to work with. In the end, I was left with 1.6 grams of cesium sulfate. Here are the two products side by side. Like and subscribe if you want to see more chemistry content and check out my Instagram account. And as always, thanks for watching.